a new small end bush can be used to press the old bush out. The lubrication hole must be in line with the hole in the connecting rod. If there is no hole in the bush, you will need to drill one out after it's been fitted. Using the reamer and the special tapered ferrule, the connecting rod is aligned with the VW214F for reaming. The adjustable reamers were originally supplied for reaming the bushes on link pin axles and small end bushes. The cutting blades sit on a tapered seat. When the locking nut on one end is unwound and the adjusting nut wound forward, the blades are moved along their tapered seat and so expand in diameter. The adjusting nut has lines around it. Adjusting from one line to the next sets the cutting blades two hundredths of a millimetre wider. The locking nut is then tightened to secure the blades. With the reamer set in the small end bush, adjust the blades to touch the walls of the bush and make the first cut. Withdraw the reamer and offer up the gudgeon pin to determine if a lot of material needs to be removed. If it does, the reamer should be adjusted a further six hundredths of a millimetre in diameter, which is three lines on the adjusting nut. Do this several times until, when the gudgeon pin is offered up, you can see that very little material needs to be removed. At this stage, adjust the reamer one line at a time, that is two hundredths of a millimetre in diameter, and after each cut, hold the gudgeon pin exactly in line with the bush to see if it will enter. Using this method, the last but one cut will be under size preventing the pin passing through the bush. However, the next cut will allow the pin to pass through and the clearance will be within two hundredths of a millimetre between the pin and the bush. The pin must be able to pass easily through the bush, although you should not be able to feel any play. The reamer must be kept clean to prevent swarf damaging the surface of the bush and it must be lubricated as you cut. Rotate the reamer using two hands to keep the forces central and use only a light pressure. The final cut must leave the surface of the bush smooth. If the pin feels a little tight, pass the reamer through again without adjusting it. <laughs> 